Before I can teach you how to play any song, you first need to learn a few things about some key signatures. This key signature means that there is four over four beats. That means there's four beats per measure. This note means that you hold the beat for four notes for the entire measure. This note means that you play half of the measure. So if the measure is four beats, you play this note for two beats. This next note is half of the two beats. So it's a quarter note. It's a quarter of the measure because the measure is four and this is worth one note. So you hold this note for one beat. When you see a note like this with a double note in one attached together, it means that they're played, both notes are played for one beat. So that means they're half a beat each. The last thing you need to know before I teach you this song is that this means that it is a tie. A tie means that you play the first note hard and then you let it linger for the second one. Now that I've taught you these important notes and features to the song, the Crawford song, which I will be now showing you how to play, these things that I've taught you will help you understand when reading the notes. As I said, in this song, you'll see different kinds of notes. You'll see the quarter notes, the eighth notes, the four held notes, the double notes, all kinds of things. Firstly, I will play the song, how it should be played. Another important thing about this song that you need to know is tonguing. As you can see, at many points in the song, there is one note consecutively played over and over again. Like here, we have the C note played one, two, three, four, five, maybe five or six times. To, to show the difference between each note, we can't just hold it for those, for example, six notes like this. We can't do that. To distinguish the difference between each note, we need to tongue it. Doing so, as you're playing the note, you lift your tongue so that it hits the reed, making a break in your airflow so that you can tell the difference. So this is how you tongue. This shows that each note is separate and they're not one long held note. Another important thing to recognize in the song is that there are many dashes several places during the song. That means you're not playing. It's a rest. Because it's four over four, that means that there should be four notes held in each bar. But in some, we only have two notes. That means that the rest must be put there to indicate that you're not playing anything. This is all you need to know to be able to play this song. At the end, you'll see a dark line. That means stop. You are done playing the song. In other songs, like Thailand Lullaby, there is a dotted ending thing at the end. This means, if you ever were to see that, that means you have to replay the entire song again. 